Hi there, thank you for being here. I'm really glad to see that there are people like you who want to learn, improve, and start living a better life. This is a very rare air, all right? Because out of the millions of waiters in the world, only 5% will take the step you just took. Watching videos, learning, going through the courses, taking your time, improving your skills, improving your knowledge, getting a better job, living a better life. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to elevate your service with the Waiters Academy, explore our membership plans for restaurants and individual students. We offer comprehensive training for front-of-the-house employees, both online and on-site. Whether you are a golf club or a restaurant chain, we work closely with you to design the perfect training program that fits your needs and accommodates your busy schedule. Check our offers today and start your journey to excellence. So, this lesson is all about preparing you what a waiter's job is, especially for new waiters, right? Because, let's face it, it's not an easy job, all right? Let's see now what is the most important characteristic of the waiter's job, all right? Stress. You will encounter a lot of stress. As a new waiter or a new waitress, this is guaranteed. There is no escaping that. So our job is very, very stressful, right? What is another thing? Long hours. We work long, long hours. That's how it is. We work until the last guest leave the restaurant or the banquet is over. And sometimes don't banquets last 16 hours, all right? We are working long hours. What else? Yes, we encounter rude and angry people. That might be daily, might not happen in a month, but we encounter those people. And you have to be prepared mentally to withstand this anger and this rudeness and just keep going because a lot of people just can't handle it and they quit. They quit their job and they give up on their dreams. We don't want you to be like that. We want you to handle anger and rudeness and keep going without ever looking back. Okay? Now, as a young waiter or waitress, you are going to have to learn a lot of things, right? Because you don't have much knowledge, you don't have much skills, you don't have much experience, if any, right? So you're going to make a lot of mistakes. Be prepared that you are going to make mistakes. I don't care how much you're going to prepare right now and everything I teach you and everything you learn and all the practices you're going to go through, you're still going to make mistakes, all right? And you're going to get yelled by the chef, by your manager, by your co-workers. Usually that's what happened with the new waiters. I want you to understand that. Be ready for that. Take it and keep going. Because this is just the beginning. Whatever it is in the first two weeks, three months, six months, it's just going to go away slowly, slowly. And there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. It's up to you how long the tunnel is. All right? It's all up to you. You can make the tunnel very short if you are willing to learn really fast and you work really hard. The tunnel will be very short. Bam! The light is right there. You know your scrap. You know your co-workers. You know the chef. You know the food. You know your guests. And go to work. It's easy. And then it's all about just let's make money. All right. Now, how we avoid making so many mistakes and how we avoid going through this stress and going through this rudeness and anger. Usually guests get rude and angry when we make a mistake, right? Other than that, the guests are really pleasant. You will see less than 1% of our guests will be rude or angry or whatever, complaining. Less than 1%. That's a pretty good ratio, if you ask me. Now, they are angry because we made a mistake. We made a mistake because we are new. 
we have no skills, no knowledge, no experience. This is the key. Knowledge, skills, experience. I want you to learn as fast as possible and focus, right? You don't want to learn everything at the same time. No, you need to focus on very specific things. And we're going to teach you through this course, what are those things? And I want you to go to the restaurant and in just a week to be the fastest learning waiter or waitress in this restaurant. Impress everybody, you will see how everything's gonna change. Everybody's attitude towards you is gonna change and your guest attitude will change as well. Your life's gonna become much easier. So we need to learn the food menu, the wine list, the cocktail drinks, you know? We need to learn the system, the POS system in the computer. We need to learn the system in the restaurant if they're implementing positions or whatever they do in the restaurant. We need to learn those things. We need to learn setup, how to set up the tables, how to set up the whole backup office, everything, you know, that a new waiters do because you're gonna do a lot of side work, right? And then you need to learn how your guests behave and expect you to behave and also your coworkers in the kitchen, the chef and the staff in the kitchen as well because that's gonna help you adjust and, you know, modify your behavior so you pass very well with the team and that will decrease the friction and there will be not so much yelling and not so much stress, all right? So, and like I said, we are going to teach you all those things, but you have to focus on the specific items on your food menu, on your wine list, in your restaurant, all right, and the best way to do that is before even going to work your first day in the restaurant. If you already have a job, if you have passed a job interview, call the manager right now and tell them, listen, send me please the wine list, send me the menu, send me the system in the restaurant, how everything works, you know, the floor plan so I can learn the tables and which position, which seat is, and then you spend the next, let's say three days before your first shift, and you learn and learn and learn. And then when you go to the restaurant, you will be the star because no other new waiter yeah, has ever been so prepared and so knowledgeable as you will be, all right? So now guys, I want you to understand, waiters love to complain. Oh, we're working so many long hours. Oh, our job is so stressful. Oh. We don't make money, you know, especially at the beginning. Yeah, probably. You're not going to be making much money. You're going to be making very, you know, low income job as a new waiter, right? But let's see. Let's compare. Let's compare our job as a new waiter to a job as a new lawyer and new doctor, right? Let's see now. We talk about stress, right? Now, how much stress is the doctor, the new doctor, or the new lawyer going through. A new doctor is, you know, performing uh, open heart surgery. You think he goes through more stress than a waiter that might made a mistake with the food order of the guest? I bet the doctor is going through much more stress. What about the lawyer? The lawyer, if he makes a mistake, an innocent person goes to jail. Do you think that the lawyer gets a little bit more stress than the waiter? I, I would say so. I would say so. So, and those suckers, they spend six years in, in school, in university, and they pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to have more stress than us. Let's see now working hours. We always say waiters work a lot of hours, which is true. I'm not, you know, I'm not arguing with that. We work long hours. How many hours works a lawyer, a beginning, a lawyer? How many hours if you go to a law firm? Do you know, guys? They work 16 hours, 7 days a week. That is 7, 16, that are 112 hours a week. And this is mandatory. If you want to be a lawyer in a law firm and you start there, they hire you, you got to work this 112 hours a day and maybe even more than that. And you go through so much stress and so much suffer. It's nothing what we suffer and go through as the new waiters. Trust me. Yeah? And I say the same thing with the doctors. When the doctor goes 
in the new job. You know, I'm a new doctor. I go to my first hospital. I'm going to work. You're going to work nights. You're going to work split shifts. You're going to work 12 hours a day. There will be no weekends. There will be no Saturdays, Sundays, nothing. You're just going to be working, working, working. A lot of stress, a long hours, a lot of sleepless nights. Guys, and like I said, those people been to the university for five, six years, seven years, eight years, and they pay hundreds of thousands of dollars. And how much they get paid? Very, very close to nothing. All right? A new lawyer, new doctor, they get paid as much as they to survive. That's it. That's it. And for them to get to the good paying jobs to become, uh, you know, associates, junior associates or, or senior associates in the company or in, you know, law firm, it takes years. For you, from a very new, let's say your bus boy or bus girl or backup waitress or backup waiter to become to the top of our industry, working top restaurants and making top money, two years. Especially you, because you are right now here and you are prepared to take the time and give the effort to learn and improve. I'll give you two years from now to become a top waiter or waitress and work top jobs and make top money. And when I'm saying top money, I mean top money, guys. And don't take no or ridicule for answer. No. That's exactly what... It's going to be, and that's exactly what's going to happen with you. That's why you're here. Because you don't want to be mediocre. You don't want to be miserable. You want to improve. You want to go fast. You want to go really grow, 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 grow. I'm telling you, in two years, your life's going to be different. Just stick around. All right. Now, there are many other things that I need to teach you for as a new waiter or new waiters, right? But those are the basics. You have to be mentally and physically prepared. Our job is demanding. It's a multitasking job, long hours, stress, a lot of knowledge, a lot of knowledge, a lot of skills. So I want you guys to understand that the better prepared you are, the easier the job will be, but you're still gonna go through the suffering and the pain. There is no other way. So be prepared. I want you guys to go through the lessons that follow and we're going to teach you how to carry a tray, how to carry plates, how to carry a food tray, you know, all those things you need to go through and you need to practice at home and you need to get better before even you get your first job. Or let's say you are already on a job as a new waiter or new waitress, get faster, better. That it all takes. You don't want to focus on the money. You don't want to focus on the suffering and the pain. You want to focus on making progress every single day. How do you carry the, 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 you know, the drink tray? How do you carry the food tray? How do you carry plates? How quick you are busting the tables? How quick you are setting up the tables? You're setting up everything properly. Those are the things you need to focus. How much I know about my wine list? How much I know about my food menu? Those are the things you focus 100% of the time and you got to see improvement every single day. Every single day. If you do that, very shortly, very shortly, you will feel the confidence, you will feel the positive energy coming back to you, you will feel like you are at home in the restaurant, everybody's attitude will change towards you and then you can make the next step all right you can work three months as a backup waiter and you learn everything and you become really good at talking at the guests and you know developing all those soft skills that we're going to teach you you go to your manager and you say hey i'm ready to run my own station i don't want to be a backup waiter no more watch me i know everything about the food menu i want the wine list i know the system I can work on the computer really quickly. I can talk to my guests really well. I'm a really good sell person because we're going to teach you how to sell, right? And I am ready. Are you ready? If he says, well, let me see. Let me see how you work in the next you know, few months. Okay, watch me. Three more months. I'll give you three more months. 
Watch me how I'm working. And you just give your best effort, all right? And constantly improving, constantly learning new skills and constantly learning new knowledge. In the next three months, you get the job. Wonderful, congratulations. You have been six months on the job and now you have your own station. That's not enough. That's not enough. Because even if you have your own station, your goal will be to be the top dog in this restaurant, work the top station and work the top shift. All right? Because there is leverage here. You can be a station waiter now, but they will give you the, you know, the, the station in the corner. You're not going to get the best guess. You're not going to get the best shift, right? You're watching the top dog. You want to be here. Not any station. The top station. Not any shift. The top shift. So you can make the most money. That happens with you proving how good you are. And don't forget, all right? Maybe you are really good. And maybe you are the best in the restaurant right now. Don't show it. Don't show off, guys. Stay humble. Try to help everybody else. Try to be the leader in the restaurant. And leader means nothing else but improving everyone else around you life. Make it life easier for them. That's what leaders do. You help everybody. If you need to teach new waiters, if you need to, whatever you need to do, to help everybody improve their performance, improve their life, make their life easier, do it, all right? And that's how you're gonna win everybody on your side. And then of course the management will be pushed to give you what you want because they see how good you are, right? And then of course, once you get the top station, you gotta choose, what do you do? Do you want to grow in the company? Do you want to take the manager's job, all right? Push him around, or maybe he goes to the FNB position and you can become a manager. Or you have to choose another part, which is you're staying a waiter, but you're changing the restaurant and you are using you're choosing the better restaurant, more expensive restaurant, fine dining restaurant, Michelin star restaurant where you're making more and more and more and more and more money. Alright? But that's gonna be a choice that you have to make down the road. Don't hurry about that. Right now for you. The focus is to be strong physically, to be strong mentally, to be prepared for all the stress and all the long hours of work and learn, learn, learn. Knowledge, skills, experience. Do not hide when somebody sends you to fillet a fish and you are like, oh my God, I'm, I, I never fillet a fish. No, I don't care. Okay, you've seen it already how they do it. You go over there with, of course, with somebody that uh, is over, you know, overseeing you and you start filleting the fish in front of the guest. You do it once, you do it three times and you will be fine. There will be no problem filleting a fish. The same thing with carving the steak or whatever the service procedure in your restaurant, the top waiters are performing. You have to learn it. Don't hide. Don't wait next week. I'm going to do it next week. No, I do it right now because the sooner I do it, the more comfortable I will feel and the more things I will learn and the better and the faster I will grow. That's how it is, guys. All right, listen now. This is all about lesson one. We're going to start learning now real service procedures and real service rules. And I want you to focus because this is what's going to help you live the better life. It's not about anything else. The job is to bring you money so you can live a good life that's all the job is about and i want you to become the top waiter in the world so you can get a good job top job make top money and live amazing life that's what i've been doing for the last 30 years i want you to do the same thing all right guys see you in lesson two thank you for being here go enjoy your day just never stop thinking about what are the steps you need to take to make your life as a new waiter a little bit easier. Watch the other videos on the lesson and take notes because it's not going to be easy, but you're going to make it. And you're going to make it as fast as anyone else have ever done. Peace. Here at the Waiters Academy, we are committed to providing comprehensive professional training 
that put waiters in the top 10% of our industry and help small family-owned restaurants to compete with multi-million dollar chains by providing the highest quality service to their guests.